hello and welcome back to another review. Today we'll be reviewing Jungle Sonic. I know he's not called that, but I watched a show and it the outfit this is for is for well a jungle. All right. So overall, I really like the packaging. The little crystals of the uh. <laughs> it's been a while since I show actually. Uh, the Shatter Point or whatever it's called. We got Sonic, Black Sonic, Female Sonic, and Red Sonic. I mean, bl I mean, Edgy Sonic, Crazy Red Sonic, and Emotionless Robot Female Sonic. There we go. Sonic runs at top speeds. Sonic runs at its top speeds to use his special homing attack ability to destroy robots and protect his friends. Um, <laughs> you're not giving the context why he has spikes and, like, these, these Wolverine claws on his shoes and his, his gloves. Really? You don't want to give context? Oh, that's a cool pose. Alright, let's just... Right, there we go. There's... Whoa! Whoa, this feels weird. What kind of what kind of articulation system is this? This is strange. Hmm. It's like ball joints. Weird. Can you turn? No. So we have Jungle Sonic. Hey, I I can barely run. Um. All right. Oh. Uh. uh yeah. He feels very weird. These are weird articulations. Honestly, if you could flip these up, it would be a lot better for doing poses. And you have his claws. Ooh, look at that. It's called Breaking the Leg. Amy, help us. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh, why? Why nine? Why would you give me defective glitter? Oh, come on, I didn't even do anything there. Ah! Nine! Ah! There are little joints that you can see a little crack of, but sometimes it's hard to tell where they begin and end. So you really gotta flip around to get it correct. So you don't break the dang thing. So, he has a, almost 30, you have a 360, 360 head. His arms can go up and down. It's a little tight. <sighs> up, down, spin. Yeah. It's very loose, and I feel like it's going to break on me. Let's go up. Down, left, right, let's go, let's go, let's go! Same with this arm. Oh, yeah! Sonic's back, baby, with my new Kung Fu moves! Yeah, 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 yeah! My ear! Ah! Not my other ear, I can't hear! Yeah, for his legs. Yeah, that just does not sound concerning in the slightest. Yeah, so they can move back and forth. And looks like he can break his legs. Ah, uh, please no. No. He can do that. He's a little... I think there's a ball joint in there. Same for both legs. You can actually pull off some pretty dynamic poses. If you can get his limbs not feel like they're gonna snap. That's the biggest problem with this guy. His limbs feel so flimsy. They're like they're gonna break. And this feels too tight. What is going on here? Overall, he feels really weird. And I just don't like it. Uh, Alright, and the sculpt. The sculpt looks really good and accurate to the show, as you can see the markings of his quills. Don't forget, he has quills, not hair. And look, see, I'm forgetting the point where it turns, so I need to just adjust it. Like, where is it? There we go. I think I found it. There. That won't do any good. 
Gotta go fast! Ah, my legs again! <laughs> Gotta go fast! <sighs> Seriously. This guy can't stand up. Oh, never mind, he lies. <laughs> I lie. <laughs> yeah, he can stand up. Now. Time for scaling! He is next to Reboot Humongosaur. I hate that he's so big compared to him. Unevolved Godzilla. Kong with Beast Glove. A fellow mammal, I see. Evolved Godzilla and <sighs> Giant Godzilla. Would I recommend you get this toy? Maybe, but be warned. You might not like it, and his articulation is very off, it feels loose, and it's just overall not good. So I give him, I give him a five. It's mainly because it's good articulation, but sometimes it's a bit brushing to get... Wow. Alright, let's see if I can fix that. So, another thing to know, it can break if you accidentally bend it the wrong way too hard. So, that's going to take it down to a 4, because it's easily breakable. Please like, subscribe, and... <gasps> no! Go watch my show! Now!